My name's Katie Hopkins. I just wanted to quickly push back on the fear that you are being fed now by the mainstream media. It's relentless. This idea that hospitals at capacity, everything's full, crisis in the NHS. Number one, the reason for that is a huge number of NHS staff are choosing to self-isolate at home with a box of Quality Street. Now, of course, any criticism of the NHS must mean immediately that everybody wishes death upon me and my children. And if my children get COVID, they hope they won't receive treatment. I accept what you're saying, but I'm still going to continue to tell you this. Because look at this, critical care bed occupancy. This is over the last three years. The blue line is the three year average for critical care bed occupancy. The red line is 2020. And what you'll observe, of course, is that in 2020, critical care bed occupancy has been less than any of the three year average. When we look at this chart, you can see that 2020 hasn't been that big of a deal from a critical care bed capacity status at all. Let me show you something else. This is in Cardiff and Vale, so we're now in Wales. Look what happened to their critical care beds. Somehow they dropped off a cliff. There used to be like 90 odd care beds here, the green line available. And then on the 1st of December, you'll notice the critical care dropped off a cliff to around 50 beds offered here in Cardiff and Vale. So of course that makes things tougher and tighter because the number of beds on offer has been dramatically reduced because staff are choosing to self-isolate at home even though rapid Covid testing means they could be at work. And of course then you end up with this headline from LBC News, Wales's largest hospital ran out of critical care beds over the weekend as Covid cases soar. Not true, actually, LBC. It's not because cases soared, is it? It's because capacity dropped off a cliff because there probably wasn't the staff there to staff them. I share all this with you, not to criticise, not to complain, but to ask you to question. Question what you're being told, question behind the headlines. And remember that when you look in the grand scheme of things, 2020 has not been in any way more severe than any of the last three years on record.